Hello and welcome back to lesson two of the coding challenge. Mm -hmm. As I explained yesterday, we're building the Mom's Taxi app. Now, what's great about this app is that it's not a conceptual app. It's not something that we are just uh, that I'm 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 teaching you that that you know doesn't exist in the real world. This is an app that I built specifically for my mom, and she's using it as we speak to make her life easier in her uh, her little Mom's Taxi business. So this is an actual real world app that we are building, and. The great thing about it is that, yes, it's a complete app, but it's also, in certain ways, a work in progress because I intend to, to, to add to the functionality of this app, but this is the basis of it. So right now, all it does is that it, it calculates the pro rata monthly rate, but in the near future, it could also calculate what is the rate in the first place, what should be the monthly rate based on a distance that she needs to go to pick up the person and, and then drop them off. We could use uh, the Google Maps API for that. So this is just the foundation and yet it could be something much bigger than that. So we're gonna continue today and I'm gonna show you how to set up. Now remember to get access to the code snippets and uh, to the hints and forums where you can ask questions and also uh, the, the downloads. And there's one other thing. If you want to earn a certificate out of this, in the previous coding challenge, we didn't offer a certificate for completion. But in this one, we are offering an IT Varsity certificate of completion. So if you want all of those uh, benefits, I mean, it's pretty cool to earn a certificate. If you want all those benefits, go to our website, to the IT Varsity website. I'll put the link uh, just below this video in the, in, the, uh, in the description and sign up for the course. It's free. And then you'll have access to all of this. And as you're completing videos, you can check off uh, videos that you have completed. At the end of it, there's a little assessment that you need to do. Submit it. My academic team will mark it for you uh, and assess it and will uh, issue you with a certificate uh, on successful completion, which is pretty cool. It's something that you can put out on your LinkedIn profile or just simply show it off on your uh, social media channels. Okay, so without any delays, let's get down to it. Okay, so the first thing I've done is in my documents folder, I've created another folder called Mum's Taxi. Now you need to avoid the apostrophe because your computer won't allow you to have a name with an apostrophe as a, as a folder name. So that's all I've done here. I've made an empty folder. If I go in there, you can see this folder is empty. So once you have your folder, we're going to go into brackets. Now in brackets, you go to File, Open Folder, and then in my documents folder, make sure you go to document. You'll probably, depending if, you've got, uh, if you're using Windows or Mac, uh, either ways you'll find the link uh, to the documents uh, folder in the left margin. So then click once on your mom's taxi folder and then click on open. Now that folder is open in brackets. And because it's empty, you are not seeing any files listed under it. So we're gonna make two files here. So you right click in the left margin of brackets and click on new file. And we're gonna call this one index.html, right? Notice it's all lowercase, single dot there, all lowercase index.html. Excellent, so there's our first file. Then we're going to make a second file and we're going to call this one style.css. So again, notice it's all lowercase. Now double and triple check your, your spellings because if there's anything wrong with the spellings of these files, your app will simply not work and then you'll be wondering why isn't anything working. Okay, so now we've created our files we're going to work with index.html. Let's start with this guy. So you click on index.html and what we're going to do is we're going to paste in there the HTML template. 
Now I copied it from the LMS, from the learning management system, the iDiversity learning management system. You'll be able to copy this also when you log into the learning management system. You'll see it just below this video here. You'll see the code snippet for the HTML um, the template. We call this the template. So this one is just a series of tags. It has the HTML open and close tags. Then it has the head open and close tags. Inside the head tag, you can see there's a title tag, two meta tags, and a linked link tag. Now I'm going to explain all of these in the next lesson. I'm not going to delve into that right now. And then you have your body open and close tags and there's nothing going on inside. Here, right in the middle there is where all the fun is going to happen. This is where we're going to be placing all our code. So once you have that in place, save it and we are now good to go. We're ready to start doing some actual code, but we'll discuss that in the next lesson.